This video is about describing distributions from a graph. We'll look at the shape, the center, shape, and spread of a distribution. Have you ever noticed how sometimes batteries seem to last a long time and other times the batteries seem to last only a short time? The histogram below shows the distribution of battery life in hours for a sample of 40 batteries of the same brand. When studying a distribution, it is important to think about shape, center, and spread of the data. So what this means is that the relative frequency or percentage of batteries in this sample of 40 batteries. So um, maybe there's like 2.5% of them that last between 80 and 85 hours. Okay, um, Maybe there's you know about 18% um, or so that lasted between 95 and 100 hours. Okay, So each of these bars represents uh, a relative frequency or a percentage of the sample that fit into that category or that, that bin width. Okay, so look, we will first look at the um, shape, the shape of the distribution. Okay, and when talking about shape, um, the most important things to look at has to do with symmetry or if it's skewed. Okay, so if it's symmetric, usually there's a mode in the middle. Okay, and symmetric means it's about the same on both sides. Okay, be forgiving, but roughly the same on both sides. Skewed means that it's kind of leaning to one end or there's a tail on one end. So um, here's a, just a quick sketch of where it'd be skewed, right, where it's kind of longer on one side. Okay, and this, the most important thing to get from shape is that the skewness follows the tail. Okay, this is skewed right my little picture here, okay? Because it's longer, the tail, the, it's longer on the right side, okay? You define it based on which side the tail is on or kind of where, where it kind of stretches out. Skewed left will look like this where it's kind of spread out much more on the left side. This is skewed left, okay? So you're following the tail as you describe skewness. Now looking back at our battery distribution, um, it looks, you know, the, the center might be somewhere around here, and it looks, you know, approximately symmetric. Maybe some of these, a few batteries lasted kind of longer than we expected. Um, so maybe slightly skewed right, okay, but, but approximately symmetric. So we're actually gonna say both. I'm gonna say it's approximately symmetric, Okay, you know what I, I didn't do? I did not talk about the, the context. So I'm gonna say, um, put this up here, um, the distribution um, of battery life. Okay, in hours is, and then this should be a lowercase a, approximately symmetric. Um, or slightly skewed right. Okay, I could see either one saying, yeah, it's approximately, um, it's approximately symmetric. Yep, I see that. Is it slightly skewed right? Yep, I see that. If you said it's skewed left, I would say I disagree. Um, anyway, so either one of those I have to say are, are good answers in describing the shape of this distribution. Okay, the mean, um, what the mean means, the arith arithmetic mean, um, or the average. Um, okay. The other way to look at this um, on a graph is it's the balancing point. Okay. So where can I kind of put this on a balance, or what's the arithmetic average? Um, and would it be 95? Would it be here? That looks like it's kind of the average number or the balancing, and that looks like it's too far to the left. Um, does, it like it's, does it look like it's 105 right here? Like it's the average, arithmetic average, adding them all up, divided by the number of numbers. That looks more like it's in the center. Um, or 115 is right here, and that looks too far to the right. So, um, so I would say that 105 of these three 105 looks like it's in, it's the arithmetic average um, of these three. 
Okay, so I'm going to erase these two and kind of stick with um, 105, 105 hours is probably the mean, the average, um, the average duration of the sample. Okay, um, it looks like the average. Okay, that's my answer. Okay, number three, consider 5, 10, and 25. Um, hours as an estimate of the standard deviation. Okay, standard deviation has this long formula. We can we can uh, compute it um, or use one var stats in our calculator. Um, but for now, let's think about it as just the average um, deviation or difference from the mean. Okay, um, I'll also tell you that within one standard deviation, if, if it's symmetric. Um, and unimodal, meaning it's like kind of a, like this one is, um, within one standard deviation, you'll have a little more than half. It's 68% of the data is a better estimate, but that's that's a rule of thumb that we can use um, if it's symmetric, like it is in this one. Okay, so looking at these, um, does five from from the mean going five above and below, is that looks like it's a an, a common or a standard deviation from the mean, a common distance from the mean? It looks a little too narrow. Okay, if I go 10 away, let me erase these. I don't have too many purple lines in here. If I go 10 away, I'm here and here, does that look like it's a standard or it's a common deviation from the mean? Well, yeah, that's about, you know, that has about a little more than half of my data. It looks like a typical um, difference away, okay? Um, 25 would be, let's see here, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, like here and here, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And that looks like it's way too big. Um, it has most of my data is there. So that's a little too big for my standard deviation. I think that five, sorry, 10 hours is, you know, the, the common deviation from the mean. So I'm just going to leave it there, OK? Um, so 10 is a standard deviation for this one. So that is looking at the shape, center, and spread, um, looking at skewness or symmetry and then looking at an estimate for the mean and standard deviation.